en de sound. Applaus voor Pieter Jan.
Is it on? Yeah. Hello, my name is uh, Pieter Jan, Pieter Jan Peters. It's a, it's a good name because it's funny and people remember it. Uh, I just I freshly graduated from the Design Academy of Eindhoven, uh, 2011, and I now, uh, yeah, so now I'm fresh, fresh to talk, and fresh to start, and, and fresh to build new, new projects. And I just, uh, I just found my own like, small studio called OO, and OO stands for the omnipresent world of whiskets, which means uh, should you grow up or can you just be a smart child? Because growing up is becoming just smart enough to make decisions and be wise. So for me, it's a, it's a way to say, it's a, like being an adult or be grow up or, or behave, it's like a, yeah, it doesn't feel so playful. So that's why OO stands for that vision. And this project stands for the vision as well. Because the, the, the project I showed you here, and I'm, I'm going to explain it now, is called Sound and Intuition. And i got to get the beeper. And Sound and Intuition stands for the, the idea that we, we have started building instruments way back. And it was out of physical reasons. We, we started hitting snares, we developed a piano around it, and then a clavier to, build, to play it. And now we still use that same method to control a computer, control digital music but we don't have to hit those snares anymore. So it's be it became a habit. It's not bad, but it's a really complex habit of playing. So I checked how, what is important in music. It's, it's, it's intuition, play intuition, playing on intuition. If you see like to all the, the, the great, the great uh, players and, and, and the, the, the most famous ones like Jimi Hendrix and Buddy Rich and even Ma Michael Jackson, it's not because they played the best, it's because they, they they played on intuition, they, they mastered their instrument so good that they just could do what they want and they had their own unique style. They could put their emotions in their instrument. And that's what this project is about. It's transforming your intuition into music, into digital. What I did is I checked how we, how we move to music and then turned it around so we could first move and then the, mu the music will follow us. So. If I see, yeah, it works. The first, the first my, uh, one I did is called WOP. And WOP is the, the feeling that if you want to have a, make a waving sound, you could make a waving motion. And that's what, what, you, saw, what you saw here. And if you do that, because everybody's, everybody's feeling, everybody's movement is unique. And if you can capture that uniqueness in the computer, it becomes much more personal, because nowadays, Digital music is, is a bit impersonal because you always copy paste everything. Then the second one is called, it's called finger. And finger is the idea that everybody always taps with his finger on the table <coughs> to get a sound. It's, it's this one, unplug it. Because when, when you tap it, you get a sound. And when you bend your finger, the sound will change. Because every time you tap, your finger is in a slightly different position, and that's what it makes so human. Because now we always copy-paste everything in the computer, and it becomes really linear and impersonal. And this captures that humanity and transforms it, transforms it into the digital stuff. And I think that's the, that's the way we should go now, make the computer much more personal. I think it's the, the same that a lot of people are talking about as well. Because I was sitting there and people saying, yeah, we should make stuff on intuition. I go like, ah, I want to say that as well. Mm -hmm. So um, maybe I'm, um, I'm repeating some stuff. Then the, the, the third thing, <coughs> this is called heart. And heart is the idea that when you listen to music, when you listen to a beat, your heart will try to match the tempo of that beat. So why not, if you, if you push this to your heart, uh, you can m put a sound on every heartbeat and then you will l hear your heart beat with a sound you want. And that's what makes it so personal. Because your heart is different than mine and your heart will not always, will, will flow a bit. It's, it's all about that capturing that humanity and putting it in, in the computer. And the fourth one is, is, is foot. I don't have it right here because it's at the, at the graduation show design academy. And it's about just pulling a strap around your foot and then you can tap it. Really simple, really in simple instrument. And that's, I think, that the goal, because I'll, I'll explain that later. 
then the, the last one is, is about paper music. We, just, we developed a kind of a code to play music, music notes, and it's kind of complex. So I thought everybody knows how to draw. So why don't we draw music? If you want to have a tone that goes upside down, just draw a line and then you can scan it. That's what I started with. It's yeah, difficult to show now. So you can just scan your drawing. And it's not, it's not perfect and people, people ask me, oh, but can you play Beethoven with this one? I'm not sure, but it's, it's much more free and it's much more personal. And I think that's, that's the goal to go now, make, make the computer capture your humanity. Like the, and and the, the, the main goal is we've built robots and now we are learning robot language. But why don't we build robot that speaks our language? And our language is body language and intuition. So these instruments, they capture your, your humanity, your body language, and they transform it into computer language. So it's a new way to, to communicate with your computer. And this, this, now it's based on, on music. It started off as a music project. But in the end, it's, it's more like a, yeah, how to interact with your computer. And there much, yeah, there's much more uh, stuff to do with it because uh, I got two ladies and they worked with autistic children. And they said, if you could put an autistic child on this, he will play with this for five hours because he feels he's understood. And it's these simple things, I think, that, that are the future because all these instruments, all the technology in these instruments, they, it exists. It's really simple. Every instrument has one or two functions. That's it. Because some people say, yeah, why don't you build a robot suit? Who wants to wear a robot suit? <laughs> so everything is quite simple. If you, and that's the idea. If you have your computer and, and you like this movement, just put it next to your computer and it's like a, an extra human factor to use for your computer. It's not what, that we have to build a computer with all these extra stuff that you can use. It's these simple things that people can use and people will understand. Because if you make it too complex, I think, it's, yeah, it's too big. <coughs> people will not get it anymore. So I think it's the simplicity in the technology is what makes it so good. Because there's so much technology, there's so much smart people out there now. So it's, it's seeing, yeah, taking some of that smart intelligence and, and putting it into, into yeah, instruments and make them look nice, I think. That's, that's what counts as well. Because these ones are now, yeah, the, the end product is now, they're all instruments made out of aluminum and, and wood to give that instrument feel back. Because nowadays everything is made out of plastic and it's light and cheap. So the idea is that you, could, that you get the feeling back, you get a, you're playing an instrument and not a toy. Thank you. Thank you very much. <laughs>